minor note to my symphony of downright nasty, not niceness. The crescendo of my odious opus! <laughs> wailing and the gnashing of teeth, the bellowing of the bitterly bombed out. It'll be like music to my ears. Then the Grinch heard a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. Huh? Huh? But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sounded merry. But it was merry. Very. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. <laughs> hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. <laughs> Mr. Grinch! And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas. He thought. Doesn't. Come from a store. Maybe Christmas. Perhaps. Means a little bit more. What happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And I'm leaking. Oh, Matt. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. I'm not gonna beat it! Get out of here. One step at a time. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh no. The sleigh. The pressure. They'll be destroyed. And I care! What is the deal? Wait! <laughs> this can't happen. 
It shouldn't. It couldn't. Mustn't. It wouldn't. <laughs> not now. Not then. Not ever again. <laughs> Oh, 